Welcome to part 2 of let's build a thermal power plant in minecraft and in this one we are going to cover the base and the machine part of the factory that you are seeing behind me right now. Now the heart of this machine is going to be the cobblestone generator that we made in episode 1 and also block of scraps from HBM Small. So basically how this machine works is that it is going to take all of the cobblestone from the generator as you can see here and it is going to divide it into three equal parts which are then going to flow into the grinders from magnetic raft mod. Now the grinders are going to grind the cobblestone into gravel and also occasionally they will give out sand. Now the gravels from the grinder are going to end up in the crusher and the crusher is then going to convert them into sand which will end up in a shredder. Now the sand blocks which come from the grinder are directly going to end up in the shredder like this and what the shredder will do is convert all of this sand into dust. Now dust block will then go into factorizer as you can see here the dust goes into the factorizer and the factorizer will convert 9 pieces of dust into block of scrap and block of scrap can actually be used as a solid fuel. So that's the explanation for this machine now without any further ado let's get building it. The stones that the generator is gonna be producing are gonna flow in this direction right here. Therefore the inlet of our factory is going to be perpendicular to the flow of the stones which is the following direction right here. Therefore we can run a conveyor line in the following L shape like this. So now once you have located the direction, now we need to make a 37 by 37 square using physical hazard blocks from industrial renewal. So place down one block and then get your wand from world edit and then stack this entire thing by 36 times. So stack 36 and then press enter and you will get a 37 long line of physical hazard blocks. Now repeat the same process on all the corners in order to get a 37 by 37 square. All right, so now that we have our square, it's time to divide this square into nine equal parts. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the concrete tile from HBM's mod. So place down a concrete block in a corner like this and then stack this concrete block by 10 more times. And once you do that, you will have a 10 long line or sorry, an 11 long line of concrete tile. Stack this again by 10 times. And in this way, you will get an 11 by 11 square made of concrete tiles. Now that we have this 11 by 11 square, grab the edges of this square and extend the physical hazard lines all the way up to the very end. So there goes our first line and here's the other line. Alright, now we need to repeat this exact same process on the diagonally opposite corner. And with this we have divided the entire square into 9 equal parts. Now once you fill up all of these parts with concrete tiles, it is going to look something like this. The flow of the material is already determined, the blue color is going to be the input and the red color arrow is going to be the output. Now we are going to work in the middle section right here where we are going to place down our thermopiles in order to power the grinders that we are gonna place. So the thermopile is from the magnetic raft mod, you're gonna need lava, packed dice and also some electric cables. So leave a one block gap on every edge and then clear out the entire middle section like this. Then make this one more deep. So therefore we will have a two deep hole in the ground like this. Now make the edges and the base of cobblestone tile. Not, oh sorry, of concrete tiles, not cobblestone tiles. So here just tack this one time and also make the base of concrete tiles. There we go. So now that this is done, it's time to place down our thermopiles. So the thermopiles are gonna be placed in a formation of 4343. So there's 4, 3. So basically, this is an alternating pattern which is going to end up in a 7x7 seven seven square. Like this. Now clear out all of the diagonal blocks so that you can see the sides of the thermopile. If you don't know, thermopile can basically create power or create energy by having opposite temperature blocks on of, on both of its faces. So now that we have cleared all of the diagonal faces, make a line of lava like this and then leave a one block gap and another line of lava and then another gap lava like this. 
and then we have some pack dice so place down pack dice in the following formation so you get the idea lava pack dice lava pack dice it is going to be in an alternating formation like this and here comes the final line and once this is done it is going to look something like this now if you take a closer look on any of the thermopile on each of its opposite face we have lava and pack dice therefore opposite temperature blocks now grab some cable or the electric cable from magnetic graph mod and connect all of the thermopiles in the following formation once you have made one row just grab your x from world edit and stack this entire thing six times There we go. And once you have stacked it like this, all of the thermopiles should be connected with cables now. In order to cover the top part, I am going to use glass from HBM's mod. If you want to, you can make this uh, concrete tile if you want to. I just like having the transparent blocks instead of concrete. So here I am going to use glass. And with this, the entire top portion is covered. Now repeat this process for the other two middle lines as well and once that's done it is going to look something like this now it's time to place down a grinder from magnetic craft now the grinder is a 3 by 3 by 4 machine as you can see right here it's 3 by 3 on the base and it is four blocks high and the brown box that you see here is going to be the front side of the grinder so we need to place so that the grinder is directly touching the back side but it is just one blocks away from the side like this so place down one grinder and as you can see it is one block away from the side but it is directly touching the back glass like this so now that this is here place down another grinder and yeah both of them will have a one block gap between them now this side is the front side so place down two more grinders facing them like this so now we have four grinders which are basically facing each other now in order to make the grinder itself these are the following machine blocks that you are gonna need and the holographic structure basically will tell you where you need to place them but I'm just going to show you this one time so that it's a bit easy to make the grinder so place down machine blocks on the base with a copper coil block and two more machine block on the top like this then in the corner we are going to place down the iron grate machine block and finally on the diagonal side we are going to place down our corrugate iron machine block and finally to complete this we need the stripped machine block placed down like this now once this is done if you right click on the brown block here you will complete the grinder but don't do that yet as we can copy and paste this entire structure so that we don't have to build this every time we want to remember that we need to make a total of 12 so copy and paste it like this and as for the other side make it because basically rotating it by 180 degree doesn't work every time so just make two of the grinders facing opposite to each other and then copy and paste them on their respective sides so here's another grinder complete and then copy and paste there we go so now with this complete repeat this process two more times and once all of the grinders are done they are going to look something like this now in order to form the multi-block structure as i told you just right click on the brown block on the bottom and that will form the grinders into their complete form like this now in order to power these grinders we are going to use the electric cable and just connect them to the thermopile grid that we made on the bottom or the base here so connect the cables like this and just be careful while placing the cables that you don't destroy the lava blocks as that happens sometimes and once all of the cables are connected you will see that the grinders will have power will have full voltage and also they will be full of energy like this now that the grinders are done it's now time to place the crushers and the crushers are from the immersive engineering so for the crushers i am going to use the crusher projector from immersive praetorium now the projector will show you the crusher in a holographic form make sure that the red side or the redstone activated side is facing you like this so for the crusher we need to come out one block to the side 
and two blocks from behind so one block to the side like this there we go and two blocks from behind so as the crusher is three wide we need to come out by five blocks so you have three four and five and then shift right click to place the crusher this only works in creative if you are in survival then it will just place down the holographic image so as you can see we have one block gap on the side and two block gap behind it now in order to rotate this design press the middle mouse button two times and it will rotate the design by 180 degrees and then again shift right click now what this will do is it will place two crushers which are facing each other as you can see they are mirror image not mirror images they are literally 180 degree rotated and once i form them the output of both of these crusher meets in the middle section like this that's why we need to rotate it by 180 degrees now that we have placed the two crushers facing each other it's now time to power them so in order to power these crushers just break the blocks like this place a thermoelectric generator remember this is a thermoelectric generator not a thermo pipe and from the thermoelectric uh, generator just extend the cable and make sure to also cover the blocks the open blocks with concrete tiles now here i am using the cable from industrial renewal if you want to use any other cable you can and as soon as you do that you will see that the crusher will start receiving power and this setup looks pretty neat once it's all covered up now that we have our two crushers placed just repeat this process two more times and once it's done you will have a total of 12 grinders and six crushers placed like this and all of these crushers are now filling up with power so once they are full of energy they will function pretty well now come to the middle line and leave a two block gap and on the third block place down a factorizer now the factorizer is already set up in the correct configuration the top is the input the bottom is the output so on the top side place down a shredder and on top of the shredder place down a hop now grab a chest and place it in front of the factorizer and we want the output of the factorizer to go into the chest so connect the factorizer and the chest via an item duct and also in order to transfer items quickly i'm going to use a servo but this is not necessary it's optional all right so once that's done come to the input side and here we are also going to place down another chest after leaving a two block gap so here is a two block gap and on the third block place down a chest this is going to be our input chest so that is where i'm going to leave this part one as it is already over 10 minutes in the part two we are going to connect every machine that we placed right now with conveyor belts so stick around for that it will be out tuesday or friday peace out guys stay safe